This is not the first time I've opened a tourism day. I think it's the third or fourth time. So the challenge is, what can I tell you that I haven't told you before? So I decided to tease you. I'm going to say something this morning, and you have to wait till the conclusions late in the afternoon to know what I'm talking about. All right? <laughs> so first things. This is Tourism Day. Great partnership between us and Vitae. Thank you, guys. Uh, it's worked really well, really, really well. The figures I can share with you later. But uh, what we can't do, what we really can't do, is teach you how to innovate and how to create value in this business. It cannot be done. I'll do an exercise with you. Suppose I ask a dozen of you to create a sort of a human sculpture that looks good on a picture. Really innovative, right? Each one of you already has a picture in his mind of 12 people. What can they be doing? Right? Some of them will be new, some of them will be rather old. But the moment you see this, I mean this, <laughs> why should I point this? Maybe it's turned off. Maybe it's turned off, that's a good point. The moment you see this, it's no longer new. So whatever you thought about in your mind, if you thought about this, the second person will not think this is new. So innovation cannot be taught, it cannot be systematized, it cannot be theorized. The moment you start doing it, it's no longer new. And in this respect, it's a bit like Schrodinger's cat, the famous quantum physics example in which a cat is simultaneously dead and alive within a box. And the moment you look, open the box, then it is actually dead or actually alive. But uh, one of the two. In the meantime, it's both dead and alive. So innovation is one of those things. The moment you look at it, it's already old. So what can be taught? What can be told you that leads you to innovate in a more value-creating way? It's the realization of this. That in this complex, very complex world, there are many, many forces at play. And the issue of balance is not so much between two extremes as within many forces working together, each one of them essential to the overall equilibrium, to the overall viability of a certain structure, of a certain business. So you have to be very, very attentive to all the forces that are in play that may shape your business, that may shape your business idea. And in our world, we are too often confronted with what are normally described as dilemmas or dichotomies or choices hard between black and white or zero and ones, and those things are false. The most common one is between theory and practice. There's no dichotomy between theory and practice. One, another great philosopher, not just Yogi Berra, but another great philosopher called Woody Allen used to say, there's nothing as practical as a good theory. Yes, in fact, we went to the moon without actually knowing very much about what it was. We did it based on theories, and it works. So, but in theory and practice, you have to move all the time. You theorize, you hypothesize, you test, you go back. There is no real choice between theory and practice. Both are necessary. As is the choice between experience and change. What is more valuable? Knowing how to do stuff because you've done it a thousand times? Or trying something new? I mean, we're in the room with people who make something new almost for a living, that's what moves you to do something new. But until you have the experience, the likelihood that that's something new working is not fantastically high. So it's not a choice either. You have to get experience and try something new, try something new and then experience it. And that's the way it goes. No dichotomy, just a cycle. Safety versus risk. It's the same thing. It's not a choice you can make. If you want, want something new, you have to risk. But if you do it without any concern for safety, probably, probably the last time, at least in that business context, that you'll, you'll risk something. So, no real choice here, just find the right equilibrium. Creativity and discipline. This gentleman, Leonardo, is probably one of the great innovators. I mean, if you have to choose an example, a role model for innovation. I mean, it's 500 years ago, think, Thinking and designing helicopters was well, well, but he was very disciplined. I just learned recently that before painting the Mona Lisa, Leonardo 
tested, drew 15,000 pairs of hands. And hands are not even the most talked about feature of the Mona Lisa, right? 15,000 to draw this, okay? Some histori art historians say he may have drawn something in the meantime, but I don't quite believe it. <laughs> but the point is that he was both disciplined and creative. There's no choice here either, you have to be both. A classical choice between emotion and reason. No choice either. I mean, if you're all emotion, <laughs> it's not, not going to work very well. If you're all reason, I'll talk about it later in the afternoon, it's not going to work very well either. So it's no use the brain complaining about the heart's follies, because the heart can also complain about the brain's too rigid way of looking at things. What I'm trying to tell you is that within these systems, with all these forces, with all these false dichotomies, there is always a defining moment, a moment where things change of nature. There are, one, there are one thing that by accumulation of forces they change. And what I'm trying to leave you with as a teaser today is that in business, that moment of change, that moment of truth happens within the brain. The human brain is where your business is going to make or break, be viable, be viable or be a flop. This is the tease I want to leave you. How can you find out where exactly in the brain, in the brain of probably your clients, your consumers, is going to be a spark that makes your business flourish or that makes your business flounder? And with the answer to that question, I'll always also be able to tell you where is the money. <coughs> okay, I wish you all a fantastic day, and I'll come back at the end of the day to tell you a bit more about where the money is. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Well, first of all, let me start by thanking Betai, Turismo de Portugal, and Pestana Hotels for inviting us to take part in this event. And actually, we are very proud to sponsor this event. For us, it's always interesting, it's always useful to talk about tourism, but it's a pure passion for us to talk about startups and to talk about innovation. That's actually our DNA. And that's still one of the, our main focus of attention. In every city we work with, in every country we work with, we connect as much with the, with the innovation ecosystem as we do with the tourism industry or the tourism innovative uh, companies. In fact, uh, people generally smile when we remind them that we are actually a startup, and we still are a startup. A rather big one, but uh, a startup and we keep the culture and we keep the interest for promoting entrepreneurship, for promoting creativity and for sharing our experience, our thoughts with our startups that are just at the beginning of the path. So um, yeah, uh, in these introductory works, uh, words, I only wanted to share with you our, yeah, our happiness to be here and I hope we will have the chance to talk in person during the conference. Uh, don't hesitate to talk to us. Uh, we're extremely glad to be here and to share um, anything with you. So thanks a lot. Have a great conference. So good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to another Tourism Day. So after the presentation of uh, the president of Tourism Portugal, uh, I think that I have to do a more institutional presentation because I can't compete with him, uh, which is great. But, but just a brief, uh, a few words. Uh, I'm very, really happy about Tourism Day. It's the fifth edition. It has been quite a, a path in the last years. And if you would, we'll, we'll, we'll say, like two and a half years ago, that the things that are happening here are really happening, we'll say that we are kind of uh, flying high and having kind of a, 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 a mad trip. But I think it's really, really uh, uh, amazing how all the ingredients came together. And maybe kind of talking about this balanced way of how to build an ecosystem and it's a lot about having the right partners and so I'm, I'm particularly happy today that we have Tourism Day with a strong partner like Tourism Portugal that is the national agency of, of tourism that has been so open and so ambitious in taking this agenda uh, to the next level and really opening uh, into a new way of, of collaborating with, with new players and also bringing the old players into, into a, a new way of, of thinking. Also very happy to have um, Airbnb, which is right now one of the most 
known and, and, and talked about startups that are really disrupted um, a lot of the business models, the sharing economy that a few years ago was just a buzzword, that now we see the real impact of it in a lot of the, the changes that can bring to the life of people and also the value that you can create to in a lot of business that are happening throughout the, the, the economy and especially in the tourism area. And, and so it's, it's amazing to see that also Airbnb joins this event and uh, also sends a message that there's a lot of things to, to be done uh, with, with the ecosystem. So Airbnb is, a bit is also a creator of, of entrepreneurs, people that can leverage their assets to create new revenue sources. And for us, being an accelerator is also a good example of a startup that came out of, a, of a, an accelerator, Y Combinator, and really made it big in the world. And also, finally, we are here at Pistana, and there's uh, João Machado from Pistana around, I don't know where he's now. And so it's the biggest player, Portuguese player, um, and I think more, probably the most international tourism player uh, from Portugal. And it's also very, very, very interesting to see their openness to embracing startups and, and new uh, paradigms and trying to learn also with the sharing economy, trying to, to, to learn also with, with startups and to innovate in a different level and leverage that uh, to bring the, the, that innovation also to the world. And I think we need products like Pistana. There's, with a country like Portugal that has, where tourism is such an important sector, industry, we have few uh, tourism products and I think companies like Pistana can be one of the examples of a, a real true uh, tourism product that can be exported and known throughout the world. But this is, Tourism Day is uh, mainly about startups and it's about how startups and technology can really make a difference and can create new business and you know, throughout the years what we've we tried to, to do together with Tourism Portugal is to spread this disease <laughs> into the rest of the economy. So how to, this can really make a change and impact in the, real, in the whole economy. And so today, we, we, what we, we thought when we put together the agenda was, was also to reflect tourism in different areas. Uh, one of them is how also cities and, uh, are, are a playground to, to develop new, new solutions for startups and how startups can be an ingredient for making cities a true uh, place where, where things happen, or where you can create value. And, you, when, and when you talk about tourism, and coming also to João's um, metaphor of the brain, I think tourism is an amazing industry because it's very dynamic, it's very open to technology, and it's one of the, the industries that is among, about human relationships. So it's where you can trigger those uh, desires, those needs, that really can create value to people. So, um, so and see the city can be a, a playground for that. And then when we talk about smart cities, we talk a lot about also tourism and startups and how that everything comes together. We also talked about another ingredient which is also very important is about is investment. So today we had we have different kind of investors, more institutional investors, VC and corporate VCs from, from Amadeus Ventures and also other, other uh, more angels for, that are really investing in, and making a change because when you talk about risk, like John was saying before, that risk is shared and also investors are very, very, very relevant in the equation. So they also bring the commitment and the resources needed to grow business. And, we, and then we're going to talk about also the success stories about a uh, few startups that have made it. So what is the growth strategy behind those, those, those paths? And it's very important because I think we, we are also reaching a, a stage at the ecosystem that now it's not no longer uh, net, um, um, sufficient to have the good ideas and a lot of people uh, doing new business, but also we have to take that to the new level. We really have to grow global business from Portugal. And so I think we can learn a lot from those experiences. And uh, with Airbnb is also going to talk a bit more about their, their strategy as well. And uh, we have then a panel about the sharing economy that I think is quite interesting. So and we're going to have three players that I think it's kind of bridge between the traditional uh, uh, economy and more sharing economy and how can we learn from each other because in, when you talk about innovation innovation is about, a lot about cross penalization it's about sharing experience in, and learning from each other and how can we integrate new things um, into old models and vice versa and so this I think is going to be really really important and and so I like also all 
to close this also by recapping uh, something that I've challenged Tourism Portugal and the government a few uh, editions of the Tourism Day ago when I said that okay we're going we're getting in an amazing path and what we we need next is to have a really really big uh, startup event in Portugal and I think that João and, and the government have pulled it together and so we have the web summit coming to Portugal and it's amazing to see how Lisbon is becoming so 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 important and and I think it's up to us to also to make at or make of this opportunity something that we can leverage on and to see this not as a, only an event but something that really can put, put us 10 years in, in advance and really make us make, make us go much faster so we have to get ready for that so uh, I'm, I'm sure that this is next year we're going to be even more surprised and I know that uh, all the players and especially Tourism Portugal they have an amazing agenda that they are thinking uh, quite ahead but in order to make this happen, we need the energy of everyone, especially the startups, and, and to make this happen. So thank you so much for coming, and have a great day.